Hi, my name is Frank Bayliss and I'm the Member of Parliament for the riding of Pierrefonds Dollard. Prior to becoming a politician, I was an electrical engineer and I worked as a businessman at a company called Bayless Medical. And Bayless Medical makes medical devices, medical products. It's a company that my mother, Gloria Bayless, founded about 30 years ago. And I'm very proud to say today it's grown into a very large company. We have over 450 people and we have uh, two factories in Mississauga and our head office is here in Montreal. So I actually was born here in Pierrefonds. I lived in the east end of Pierrefonds in an area called Amabay. It's still there and for a little while I grew up in, I lived in Cloverdale and then we lived on a street near Cloverdale called St. Gabriel. You saying that I didn't get the job? Yeah, I'm sorry, Ray. I thought you aced that interview, Ray. Yeah, I got so too. I did everything perfectly. There's got to be some reason why you didn't get that job. Truth is, I don't hire black people. More than 10 years ago, there was a show where the, I never seen the show, but my son was watching and he came to see, hey dad, there's a really good show and I watched it and this girl and her friend went for a job and her, she got denied because she's black and her friend got the job and I, I had like goosebumps go down my spine. I said, wait a minute, that's, that's, not, that's not out of the blue. That's your grandmother's story. I felt, I actually felt ashamed of myself that he didn't know it. And right there and then I said, said, get in the car. We drove to my mom's house and I sat him down and I said, mom, tell him your story. So one of the things that people don't know much about or don't know my mom's story, my mom fought the first case of racial discrimination in job employment in Canada. So it's hard to believe today that you could just say to someone, I'm not giving you the job because I don't like the color of your skin or I don't like what religion you are. My mom was a nurse and she had a friend that was a nurse and there was this one place that was hiring and they needed two people. So what they said is my mom said I'm gonna go in the morning while you're at work and I'm gonna apply and then at night you go and apply for the other job it would be a lot of fun if we get these two jobs together and work there so when the friend came back they got to talking and said how'd it go my mom said I, well you know the two jobs were taken she was no no I went in the afternoon and he he offered me to come back so then they figured out something was wrong now you gotta know my mom so my mom is a very strong tough lady and one of the things about her is you didn't push her around she ran into a friend of hers from the black community and said hang on we can get this guy and we can make history here so they got the data together and then they went and got a lawyer and they sued that company that company for racial discrimination this had never been done in Canada before I get that with you but I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land that company fought for 12 years her case took 12 years to be settled and after 12 years the company was found guilty and you know how much they had to pay $25 yeah that's it just $25 but it didn't matter because after that court case was won it set what we call in our law system precedent this is the new law you cannot discriminate based on racial characteristics or this. So before, what you could get away with, you could no longer get away with it. Well, this was over 50 years ago in the, in the 60s. Uh, and and we, we, you might read about these things. There was across North America, you had Martin Luther King, people agitating for civil rights, they called it. And this was happening across North America. We didn't have as much violence in Canada, but we had the same battles. We had the same types of discrimination, the same battles, and my mother was a founding person of one of those fights against racial discrimination here in Canada. My mom, obviously, everybody's mom is supremely important to them, and my mom was supremely important to me. She's had an impact from the day I was born till today. I owe everything to my parents in that sense, my mom and my dad. 